1999's theatrical release Drop Dead Gorgeous is a dark comedy representing life growing up as a beauty pageant contestant. The scriptwriter also appears in the movie as the non-speaking judge Jean, as well as having written the comedies Sugar and Spice and Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse. Actress Cloris Leachman was a native of Des Moines, Iowa. Ms. Leachman appeared in Scout's Guide to the Zombie Apocalypse at the ripe old age of 88. During her lifetime, Ms. Leachman won nine Emmy Awards, more than any other actor in history. She was also one of only three performers ever to win three of those Emmys for acting across all three genres, comedy, drama, and a made-for-TV movie or limited series. Also, Ms. Leachman is one of only two to have won an Emmy for Best Supporting Actress in a TV Series and the Best Supporting Actress Oscar. Oh, and she also understood beauty pageants as she was Miss Chicago in the Miss America pageant of 1946. Simply stated, Cloris Leachman was a tornado of talent. Luca. Contrary to what many people might think, Des Moines, Iowa is a mecca of business. Not only did Forbes magazine rank Des Moines as the best city for business in 2010, but Des Moines has the third largest presence of insurance companies in the world, after only London, England, and Hartford, Connecticut. Oh yeah, it was also during a Des Moines concert that Ozzy Osbourne bit the head off of that pesky bat. Hey, subscribe to our channel and you'll be most smartest. John Michael Osborne, also known as Ozzy, is often called the godfather of heavy metal. Osborne himself credits the Beatles' decidedly slower and more mellow classic song She Loves You as the song that convinced him of a future in music. He was 14 years old. On a side note, my son Jackson's first rock concert was an Ozzy show. I took him when he was 10. To be fair, his first concert was the great B.B. King the year before. She Loves You is the Beatles' best-selling single in the UK, and it is the song that kick-started Beatlemania. The Fab Four released a German version of the song. They also sang part of She Loves You in their song, All You Need Is Love. I guess Lennon and McCartney really liked that song. And now for today's most smartest question. The director and producers of the movie wanted two different actresses to play Amber and Becky's mothers instead of Ellen Barkin and Kirstie Alley. Who were the actresses that almost played these roles? Goldie Hawn and Sigourney Weaver? Heather Locklear and Valerie Bertinelli? Michelle Pfeiffer and Jane Seymour? Or Kelly Preston and Elizabeth Hurley? Other popular songs that the original artists also recorded in German? Terry Jack's Seasons in the Sun. David Bowie's Heroes, In My Room from the Beach Boys, and Who Knows the Way from the legendary Johnny Cash. Incidentally, Johnny Cash did not buy his first guitar until he was in the Air Force. Where was he stationed? Germany. Johnny Cash is well known for all the music he wrote for himself and others over the years. His biggest hit in his career, and still one of the most beloved and recognized songs in music history, is called Ring of Fire. The song was not written by Johnny Cash. The Ring of Fire is the most earthquake and volcano prone region in the world. It extends from South America through North America to Eastern Asia, Australia, and New Zealand, over 40,000 kilometers or 25,000 miles. Also, it is not a ring. It is an upside down horseshoe. 75% of the world's volcanoes exist in this area and 90% of the earthquakes reported in the world originate in the Ring of Fire. What else is the same distance as the Ring of Fire? The circumference of the Earth at the equator. It would take the average person walking at an average 3 miles per hour, 347 days, to walk the Ring of Fire or the Earth's equator. Isn't that about how far Forrest Gump ran? A 2006 U.S. federal government study found that the average person walks about 900 miles per year. That would be nearly three times around the world in your lifetime. Other human averages? The average person falls asleep in seven minutes, spends 25 years asleep, laughs 10 times a day, goes to the toilet six times a day, swallows 295 times during a meal, has over 1,460 dreams a year, and sheds 1.5 pounds of skin each year. Also, the average woman 
will consume over six pounds of lipstick in her lifetime. Dreams can be quite inspirational. There are many ways that people get ideas for inventions and new ways of thinking. Here are a few things that their originators attribute to a dream they had. The sewing machine, Google, Einstein's theory of relativity, understanding the structure of DNA, the periodic table, and insulin being used for diabetes. Google, originally named Backrub, was founded by Larry Page and Sergey Bin while studying for their PhD at Stanford University. Google was formally incorporated as a private company on September 4, 1998. When you do a Google search, you are searching the largest number of web pages, called an index, available, with over 35 trillion web pages. When you hit enter, and that happens 3.5 billion times per day, Google searches through all of those pages in less than a half second. 60% of those searches come from mobile devices. In 2007, there were 122 million 320,000 mobile devices sold worldwide. So far, in 2021, there have been 1,535,360,000 units sold. Yep, that is over 1.5 billion. That is nearly 13 times more phones in less time. So just how big of a number is 1.5 billion? If you lived for 1.5 billion minutes, you would die when you were 2,854 years old. Save $10,000 every single day, good for you, and it will still take 411 years to save $1.5 billion. Get into an airplane and fly 1.5 billion miles and you will fly around the world over 60,000 times or take over 3,100 round trips to the moon. For $1.5 billion, you could buy a $30,000 car, 50,000 of them. You could also buy 7,500 houses at $200,000 each. The cost of buying a home across the U.S. varies wildly, but here are a few examples of what $200,000 would buy you in several states. In Los Angeles, California, a studio condo with one bathroom and 444 square feet. In Mobile, Alabama, a home with four beds, two baths, and 2,300 square feet. In Honolulu, Hawaii, a studio condo with one bath and 386 square feet. In Indianapolis, Indiana, a two-story condo with two beds, three baths, and 2,250 square feet. In Wichita, Kansas, a home with four bedrooms, three baths, and 2,650 square feet. Quite a difference. In 1893, without approval from President Grover Cleveland, U.S. Marines stormed Hawaii and raised the Stars and Stripes in Honolulu. President Cleveland thought this move to be shameful, so tried to withdraw the annexation treaty from the Senate and ordered a full investigation into potential wrongdoings. Part of a continuing effort, in 2008, there were two attempts to overthrow the state government in Hawaii and restore the Kingdom of Hawaii by occupying the Iolani Palace in Honolulu, the last residents of the royal family who were overthrown in 1893. The state fish of Hawaii is, yes, every state has an official fish, go check, called the reef triggerfish by non-Hawaiians. Many local Hawaiians refer to it as the humu humu, Native Hawaiians use its big name, which is Humu 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 Nu Kuai Yue Pua. Humu 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 Nu Kuai Pu Pu. Okay, sorry, let's go back one. The state fish of Alaska is the king salmon. One of the largest of the salmons, king salmon can grow to five feet long and weigh 50 pounds. King salmon, also called Chinook salmon, are part of the Ancorhynchus genus of salmon. This genus also includes cutthroat trout, pink salmon, dog salmon, rainbow trout, and the coho salmon. And today's most smartest answer is, believe it or not, the makers of the movie wanted Goldie Hawn and Sigourney Weaver. Can you imagine Ripley as Gladys Lehman? The last few scenes of the movie would have been even more intense. Even many seafood lovers do not realize that salmon and trout and char are that closely related. 
Although there are several differences, the main difference is that trout live their lives in freshwater, aside from steelhead, while most salmon can split their time between fresh and salt water. One of the best lakes for rainbow trout fishing in the U.S. is Shasta Lake in Northern California. Shasta is also a prime fishing spot for bass, German brown trout, and landlocked Chinook salmon. It is also the area where I grew up. Chinook salmon is named for the Chinook Native Americans who believe that salmons are martyrs as they sacrifice their lives to give nutrition to humans. They also believe that salmons would incarnate as humans once eaten and that salmons live in houses under the ocean. Norse sagas that describe the pre-Columbus Viking discovery of North America also state that they came into contact with Native Americans who could speak a language that sounded similar to Irish. The Native Americans also stated that they had encountered white men before. It is now a fairly widely held belief by historians that Vikings discovered America centuries before Christopher Columbus landed in the New World in 1492 AD. The discovery of America was the subject of debate up until 1960 when an ancient Norse settlement was discovered in modern-day Newfoundland. This settlement includes several buildings and several objects dating back to approximately 100 AD and are identical to objects known to be used by the Norse living in Greenland around the same time. The people commonly referred to as Vikings actually came from a variety of countries now known as Scandinavia, including Denmark, Norway, and Sweden. Some historical records also include the Finns, Estonians, and the Samai, who are the native people of Norway. Vikings also migrated to other areas such as Greenland, Iceland, and Ireland, among several others. They sure did get around. Iceland was also the first country to elect a female president, Vigdis Finnbogadóttir, who served from 1980 to 1996. Iceland is about the size of Kentucky in square miles. Kentucky has 4.4 million residents. Iceland has about 340,000 residents, which is similar to the size of Honolulu, Hawaii. There is lots of room to stretch in Iceland. In Kentucky, there are more barrels of bourbon than there are people. Heck yeah! Do America's favorite family, Fox Network's The Simpsons, actually live in Kentucky? Some things to consider. Kentucky has a city named Springfield. Springfield, Kentucky is close to Shelbyville, Kentucky. There are episodes where The Simpsons have been referred to as a Northern Kentucky family. There are several references to the state south of them being Tennessee. Kentucky also has a Red River Gorge. In The Simpsons, the state capital is called Capital City. In Kentucky's capital city of Frankfurt, the airport is referred to as Capital City Airport. And lastly, a mere eight miles from Shelbyville, Kentucky, is the real town of Simpsonville. Hmm. Lona Williams was once a writing assistant on The Simpsons, where she occasionally provided voices for the show, including that of Amber Dempsey, a single episode character from Lisa the Beauty Queen. So who is Lona Williams? She is a native Minnesotan who participated in a number of beauty pageants as a child and was crowned Minnesota's Junior Miss in 1985. Oh, and along with several movies noted above, she also wrote a little movie called Drop Dead Gorgeous.